Bigfoot, Sasquatch, The Loch Ness Monster, The Michael Jackson, fascinating tales, intrigue, and curious creatures made up to frighten the masses or merely hiding from the public eye. Tonight, we focus on one of the most interesting and unpredictable social anomalies, the Spaceman. Tonight we dig deep, asking questions, following tips, paying people off, leaving no stone unturned as we search for the elusive spaceman. It is a story that goes, one clear starry night there was a flash of light in the heavens. Some people believe this to be an alien craft of some peculiar design, which crashed deep in the backwoods. They tell shocking tales of a human-like creature that stumbled through the wreckage. Could this figure have been the famed spaceman? Did this crash really happen? Mysteries of the Unsolvable Mysteries went to talk to some of the backwoodsmen to see if we could conclusively discover what actually happened that horrifying night. What we found was far beyond what we could have possibly imagined. I was out shooting things with the kids when I hear a noise through the trees. And uh, I look up think it's a buck and I see a light shining off what it looks like uh, metal overalls or something. I look over to Cletus Jr. I says, you getting this boy on that video camera? He says he was. Well, we didn't shoot no deer that day. I guess they were all scared away on account of that irregular spaceman. Due to user error, the lens cap was not properly removed. Here now is a dramatic reenactment of the events that transpired during that hunting trip, as deciphered by the actual audio. Could what we have just seen prove beyond a shadow of a doubt the existence of the spaceman? Or could the whole thing have been an elaborate hoax perpetrated by a cunning backwoodsman? We've gone to the only watering hole in town to gather testimonials from the locals, some who have lived there for years and are infinitely familiar with tales of the spaceman. Spaceman? Sure, I've heard the stories. I've worked here a long time. As a bartender, people tend to tell you a lot of crazy things. Now, it's been about a week since I had my run with the space man. It's nice the town has something to market with the people and all. If you ask me, that space man, he ain't nothing but one big fucking pain in the ass. You tell him, Jethro. And I only have but one rope. When I get home from work, I got me a nice plate of biscuits for Eddie and Lee. Not cold biscuits, neither. No, no, cold biscuits is worse than no biscuits at all. You should sell them biscuits. Now we're cards. She's a shit remover. Just pour my wife out of me. She makes the best damn biscuits in town. We went to Jethro's house to determine how good those biscuits really are. It turns out Jeb and Garth were right. These biscuits are really good. I haven't had an encounter with a spaceman or seen him like other people claim. But I have read a book on the subject. Is this woman's story true? Could her claim be accurate? To find out more, we sought the world's only expert on the subject, Bernie Gesturfnoff. Now, I've always believed in the existence of extraterrestrial life. Uh, I even have video footage to prove that these guys exist. So, if we could just roll that footage real quick. 
as you can see in this footage, which has gotten a lot of notoriety around the science fiction community, uh, as you can see, he is sneaking around. I don't know what he's sneaking for or who he's sneaking to, but he sure is sneaking, ain't he? <laughs> now, I, if that's not enough evidence for you, I also got Doppler photos and uh, uh, some interviews. Now, in these interviews, uh, I talked to him, and if you would like to hear more about these interviews, check out my website. Or for the photos, you can go to my book. See, there's photos of him actually chasing me away. Now, if you want to take a look here in my book, it'll show you right This mystery there. continues to confound. Buy my book. Buy my book. Buy my book. Available We've decided to conduct a search of our own. We've asked world-renowned tracker Ziggy to guide us through the backwoods. www.curiouscerfnafo.com. Don't add the extra R. Now, this part of the woods is where he's been reported to be seen the most. Now, so far, we haven't seen anything that looks like it's coming from outer space. But, but look here! Look! Spaceman blood. See, it's blue color. It's not like our blood. Now, I'm going to rub some of this on my wrist. That way, if we see him, my scent won't startle him. All right, come on. Let's go. some spaceman excrements down here and they're fresh. Now, like I said, we haven't seen the spaceman yet, but come here, come here. Look, these are not animal tracks. These could be from the spaceman or from his vehicle or something completely different. And look at that. That looks like a size 10 shoe print, doesn't it? Come on. Come on. Last one, there's a wallaby carcass. We found seem to lead past this bush. Let's take a look here. Oh, boys, I think we stumbled onto something big. Let's go. All right, boys, this is it. We found the spaceman's home. Oh, crikey, this is exciting. Let's take a look. Oh, it's a beaut. Let's go inside. Come on. This is it. This is where the spaceman is. Let's take a look. Oh, this is perfect. We may actually get to see the beast. I love putting myself in danger. Let's go. There he is! It's the spaceman! No, get this, get, get out! This. Look, do, do I come into your this, house and feel like you're No, why, why can't you just so leave me alone? Get out! Look, let's out! Go. Out! Let's run, guys! Oh, yeah. That's fun, guys. Okay, I just want to set the record straight. First off, yes, I do exist. Here I am in the flesh, a man. No different than you or anybody else, except I have been to several different galaxies and crossed multiple dimensions. Aside from that, no different. Second, I'm, a, I'm of no harm to anybody. I don't even hunt my own food. I stocked food pills for 70,000 light years and I rationed very well. Third, I'm not an alien. I'm a space ranger. A space ranger. Second class, actually. It's kind of an interesting story. I was abducted as a child by some aliens and dropped on the stoop of the intergalactic chancellor's house in Nebula 5. Spaceman. Fantasy? Fiction? Or merely a bad impersonator? After the break, we explore crop circles, the weekly world news, and multiple planes of reality. drug-induced multiple planes of reality.